What's up guys? Peter Von Panda here in Detroit, Michigan. I'm actually standing in downtown Detroit. What you might be able to see around me is just a bunch of development, a hot, hot area. And the hottest thing of all is this brand new hotel by Shinola. Now this place isn't even open yet, still under construction, uh, but thanks to the awesome people at Shinola, they are gonna give us a sneak peek of what to expect when this place opens. Let's go take a look. Now the hotel is officially opening in a few days, so there was still lots of work going on during my visit. The hotel is actually two buildings combined, which creates some interesting elements. They form a luxury boutique hotel right in downtown Detroit, walking distance to the sports arenas, theaters, and shopping. The check-in desk is straight through the main entrance. And off to the right side, there's a bright open lobby open to the public. It also has the only wood-burning fireplace on the premises. The walls are decorated with art, but the centerpiece is Nick Cave's giant wall sculpture. Nick has a Detroit connection where he attended Cranbrook. The mezzanine upstairs is called Saxe's, which is named after Saxe's on Woodward, the family bar of the owner, Dan Gilbert. The staircase and the railing are all original from the jewelry store building that was renovated. The Saxe's mezzanine is available for guests only and is set up as a lounge and game room. It features a clever convertible pool table and it has the most laid back and cozy feel of any hotel lounge I've ever experienced. The vintage style and custom made Amish furniture is from Hilltop and the entire hotel, including the rooms, feature Amish custom furniture. This room can be made available for private events. And there's a nice touch. A painted sign on the wall from the original building is preserved in its original location and is integrated into the decor. Now, if you walk past the check-in desk, you can enter San Morello, the hotel's Italian restaurant. San Morello's is already open and features large windows looking onto Woodward. It also has beautiful vintage decor, but a sparkling modern look. The tile is actually hand-painted for Shinola. And the kitchen is actually in the adjacent building, with the transition visible on the floor if you know where to look for it. And if you don't have Shinola gear, don't worry. There's a Shinola store on site. There's an interesting wallpaper in the hallways that looks like mixing liquid paint that was custom made for Shinola and inspired by wallpaper that was found during the renovation. The hotel bar has a glossy 60s look, particularly in the curved wood, which you'll notice in other parts of the hotel. Evening drinks for the guests will be made in this bar and it's a great place to grab a casual drink after dinner at San Morello. There's a door that exits into the alleyway where you can see how the buildings are connected. The black building is primarily event space and there's a rooftop beer garden that will open when it's warmer. This alleyway will eventually connect with the alley to the new tower being built across the street. Now moving into that building, the event spaces are absolutely amazing. Now despite heavy construction still underway, it's clear that no expense has been spared from the wood paneled walls to future glass walls. The Bixby Ballroom is named after the Shinola Bixby bicycles and is absolutely stunning. The ceiling has terracotta tiles that were copied from some of the design elements on the exterior of the building. This will be a space for some fabulous events and unlike many event spaces, this also has a dedicated kitchen. My favorite space is in the atrium located off of the ballroom, the Birdie Observatory, named after their Birdie watches. The views through the glass housing should be breathtaking, especially at night. I love the large paper lanterns and it features a bar with a huge marble wall sourced from upstate New York. I really hope that they find ways to share the space with the public and I would love to attend an event there. Now the guest rooms are modern and chic. This room was extraordinarily large with space to spread out and quite a bit larger than their smallest room, which is probably about 60% as large. I noticed that the large Shinola wall clocks and the GE power strips are located in each room. The rooms feature old school telephones, which only dial directly to the front desk. The bathrooms have an old world luxury feel to me, kind of what I envision first class on the Titanic or the mansion of an oil baron to look like. Waterworks bathroom fixtures are used throughout, and there's an Easter egg for Shinola fans. The base plate for the faucet handles is the back plate of the Shinola watches. 
and this hardware will eventually be made available to the public through Waterworks. One of the most interesting facts of the hotel is that since it's a combination of two buildings, the floors don't line up. So the rooms in the Singer building feature a dramatic staircase down into the room. They also have very high ceilings. And the bathroom is similar in style and furnishings, but with a slightly different layout. Now, if you've ever stayed in a hotel, you're probably familiar with adjoining rooms, which usually have a door that you can open to connect two rooms. Everyone I know that sees one always opens the door to check what's behind it. The drawback is that they are usually not insulated for sound very well, and they feel kind of like an afterthought. So Shinola has an ingenious take on that. Instead of a pass-through door, corner rooms have a small foyer outside of the room, which has its own door, so you can make your own suite-like space without compromising the aesthetics. Now, corner rooms have another distinct advantage. Huge corner windows. Despite this room only being on the second floor, it has a luxury penthouse feel, and I can only imagine what the views higher up will look like. From this room, you can see the original building's exterior clock, which has been repaired and now features the Shinola name. And of course, there is a workout room, which features the latest exercise equipment and Shinola leather medicine balls. But also, the columns are wrapped in leather with thick baseball glove-like stitching. They're really beautiful. The Shinola Hotel is a remarkable destination itself and really complements the lifestyle brand on the whole. It's amazing to be finally using Detroit and luxury in the same breath. On top of that, the room rates look incredibly competitive. So if you're visiting Detroit for a show or a sporting event, for work or for the auto show, I'd enthusiastically recommend checking out the Shinola Hotel. I'll definitely be staying there on my next visit. Check out Shinola gear and links in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.